right, let's look at nine. Another term you should absolutely know, uh, pro forma. A pro forma is a time-honored system for understanding, let's see, uh, A, the formal relationship, relationships to be generated in a design process, B, all of the pro bono aspects of a project, C, the estimated profits and losses for development, D, the overall schedule of a project. Uh, so a pro forma, um, I'm just going to kind of whip through these pretty fast. Um, a is definitely not it. Um, uh, while I kind of like the idea that a pro forma is about the pro bono aspects of a project, which would be the sort of uh, donated aspects of a project, um, uh, that's definitely not it. Uh, C is the correct answer. So what a pro forma is, uh, is let's say you're doing um, a, an apartment building and there's a, there's a developer who's building an apartment building. Um, what they're going to do in order to go and talk to, say, uh, a banker and say, I need $20 million to build this apartment building, before you, anybody's going to give you that $20 million, uh, you need to be able to show that, okay, uh, I'm going to have a bunch of money uh, that I'm going to make. So we're going to sell these we're going to you know, bring in money in a, a bunch of different ways, and that's going to add up to whatever this total number is. And then I'm going to have a bunch of money, uh, so let's call this a positive, um, that's going to cost. So I'm going to have construction costs. Um, I'm going to have site acquisition costs. Uh, I'm going to have lawyer's fees. I'm going to have uh, bank fees. Uh, so, like, if I'm going to borrow money, uh, there's a huge difference between borrowing money at, uh, you know, 15 years versus 30 years versus 50 years, or at 3% uh, versus 5%. There's a lot of money there, right? So I have to really consider where that money gets played out. There's a whole bunch of, of different things that are going to cost money. The architect's fees, among other them. So all the other fees and all those kinds of things, right? We're going to add up all those numbers. And that's our set of costs. And the idea, presumably if it's a for-profit development, is that uh, the negative numbers, the cost numbers, are going to be lower than our positive numbers, right? That's all a performa is. It can be as simple as on the back of a napkin, you know, 10 numbers uh, added together and subtracted. Uh, it can also be something that's 50 pages long, depending on what's going on. One of the things you'll hear developers say all the time is that you'll be talking about an idea and you'll say, well, this would be really great. Um, I know you want these three bedroom units, but uh, you know, these would be really awesome two bedroom units because we'd have much bigger living rooms and we'd have this other thing and we could have a walk through, uh, a pass through in the kitchen. And oh, it's going to be great as a two bedroom. And the developer will say, eh, it doesn't meet the performa. And what that means is they can get more money and they've already built the cost structure based on the three bedroom units. So a pro forma is the way that you kind of simplify how you put all this information together. It can be very complicated, but the base root of it is I've got some uh, numbers that I think are going to come in, and I've got, uh, I'm going to sell these units for, or I'm going to rent them for, or uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, whatever, whatever my version of making money is uh, in this particular development, and then I have a bunch of costs that it's going to take to get to that, and I'm making sure that those balance out. Uh, a developer essentially has to have a business plan for any project. And a business plan is a, a series of uh, kind of reviews of like, is there a market for this? Is there a need for it? Do we have a lot of competition? Do we not have any competition? Uh, it's all of those kinds of issues. And one sort of the heart of that uh, business plan is going to be this pro forma because that's the part that allows you to understand not only does it meet the marketing, not only does it meet the needs and the, and the timeline and uh, all of those things, but that we actually will make money out of it. So it's one of those terms that's very likely to show up someplace uh, and you should uh, definitely feel comfortable with that. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and thanks to all of you who've tuned in. And if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, Visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register. Uh, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the broadcast, just like today. Um, and to learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, go to blackspectacles.com. Uh, we'll uh, include, a note, uh, include a link in the show notes. Uh, and for those of you who are ready and, and want to go ahead and get busy preparing for the ARE, uh, you can use a coupon, uh, a 15% coupon off the first charge on any AIA ARE prep membership. 
with code 527-15-WEBINAR. That's 527-15-WEBINAR. Uh, and that'll expire on June 15th. Um, and of course, if you're already an AIA member, you can visit AIA.org slash ARE prep to get a 30% discount for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership, not just the first charge. Um, and that also uh, expires on June 15th. Um, and finally, uh, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think um, and share any suggestions um, that you may have. I promise uh, we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. Uh, so thanks for watching.